we've got all these new kinds of workers that are trained to do these evidence-based interventions. How's it actually working out in practice? We know that if you introduce a new team into the NHS, it has quite a big impact on everybody else. But we don't actually know what that impact is. Now, this is, is perhaps more subtle. What's the impact of introducing new roles? So that was why I'm very, very interested in this. I think it's a very smart idea to not worry too much about your background. As long as you've got a degree, as long as you've got um, you know, uh, experience of doing mental health, we can now train up all these people whilst they're on the job um, to do new kinds of interventions. Big question, what's the impact on everybody else?